Welcome into New Cheat Day, and I am starting off with a little TikTok hack that I just saw recently. I don't know too much about the TikTok hacks, but this is a Chick-fil-A TikTok hack. I got a separate bowl to mix this up. This looked delicious, so I hope it comes out the same way. Guys, first, we got nuggets. And then we got the mac and cheese. This is dump this on there. Zesty buffalo sauce. Unhealthiest things I've ever seen from Chick fil A. I know how liquidy this is. I've never got the zesty buffalo before. Oof. I'm not one to make mix all my sauces together, so this is very unique to me. Alright, let's get the tap on this thing. Hopefully, there's enough room for it to move around. Coming together. Just gonna give it a little, little more of a mix. Shake weight, baby. Oh, look at that. This does look and smell phenomenal. All right, first bite. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, where are the fries? Reminds me of something, but I can't put my name, my tongue on it. That's good. I think I'm going to go 8.2. This is good. I wish Chick-fil-A served this as a meal. The funny thing is I'm not that big of a like barbecue fan or buffalo fan. This is good. A little bit left of mac and cheese. Mmm. Superb. I'm super pumped to try this cookies and cream cake. I have a fork somewhere. <laughs> it's like blends in with the table. So let's go into it. It's layered 690 calories for a whole slice. Mmm. It's whipped. The middle's a nice touch with the icing. For two dollars and fifty cents, seven point four for me. Don't sleep on Target's Bakery. Alright guys, so I found this super interesting. My mom gave me this for Valentine's Day. She gave me a few things, a few candies. But check this out. Moon Pie. Who remembers eating these with cotton candy? So it's Moon Pie with cotton candy. I'm curious to see what this tastes like. I haven't had Moon Pies in a long time since I was like a kid. How do you open this thing? Yep. Moon pies with two moon pies. Cotton candy. What's the calorie content in this? 330 cat. Wait. For your moon. 110. I need to add this up. About 550 calories in this, guys. I don't know what to have first. Right? Is it like. 
banana cotton candy. Check out that moon pie. Eat together or how you just Mmm. This is banana cotton candy. It's like eating a pillow. These things are so dry. How do they go together? That's what I would imagine insulation tastes like. More poisony. <laughs> Boom pie number two. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. The moon pies ones. Not so good. It's like hardening to my mouth. <laughs> I've had cotton candy in years. mess. Moon pies get a 4.2 from me. Cotton candy gets a 6.2. My teeth need to be cleaned. All right guys, so we got more food and we got actually voodoo fries. So check this out. Voodoo fries guys. So we're, we're in with Wingstop. That's our next meal. We got 20 boneless wings. We also got voodoo fries, which I'm going to eat the voodoo fries first and then I'll go into the wings. But I'll tell you guys the flavors I got as well. The voodoo fries are right here. We're gonna dive right in, guys. I'm pumped. Hey, I've had mean, voodoo fries in a little while. Hmm. They're still really warm. If you wanna be thirsty all night, get wing stop. <laughs> the amount of sodium is insane. Oh, these voodoo fries. They season the mess out of their fries, but so good. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the best ranch out there in the game on the fries. Ooh, I don't usually like to do that. I'm just drinking ranch. These things are spicy. Ric Flair. That cheese and ranch combo. Mmm. <laughs> so I just have a good cook to them. Last bit left. All right, my friends, we're going into our wings. We got our wing stop wings, 20 boneless wings that I got. Excuse me. I went with six hot honey rub, and then I got four hickory smoked barbecue. Then I got five Hawaiian, my favorite, and then five garlic parmesan. -y. So we're gonna go into it. Must still kicking from those voodoo fries a little bit, but I don't know which one I'm gonna start with. I think I'll save my favorite for last, the Hawaiian. I love that little bit of sweetness that you get. Gotta have the ranch. I'm gonna go with the hickory smoked barbecue. Mm. And yes, I like boneless, aka chicken nuggets. Some people don't call these real wings. I do like bone in too. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Ooh. There's a lot of sauce on these hickory barbecue. I think these are called honey hot rub or something. 
just put my phone. Honey or hot honey rub. I guess these are popular back by popular demand. <laughs> I see the appeal. I do see the appeal. It's not like where it's like overly sweet or too salty. I mean, it's salty, don't get me wrong. I think I'm gonna do this last. Well, I got six. Give my family one to try because I kind of like this one. See if, what they think about it. I dig that seasoning. So far, the hot honey rub <laughs> is my first favorite. Then it was my barbecue, honey barbecue. Now I'm going into garlic parmesan. And then I'll save my usual typical number one, Hawaiian, for last. Garlic Parmesan. -y. I think it would go hot honey rub, garlic parmesan, the barbecue. Last parmesan. Alright guys, last but not least, my personal favorite, Hawaiian. So Oh, that looks so good. Hawaiian. Mm. I don't know what it is. It's the best in the game, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Last but not least. Nineteen wings because I gave one away. Voodoo fries. Bada bang, bada boom, delicious. All right, guys. So we just got done with the wing stop. I took a shower. I am going into the next thing, and this is a very caloric dense food that I truly, truly enjoy. I don't keep it in my diet throughout the week usually, just because of how caloric dense it is. But this is what it is. I love granola bar, or like granola. So I love granola bars. I love granola, but. If you were to look at the back of this package, right on here, there's 150 calories. There's about, it says about 10 servings um, per container. So that is 1500 calories. The volume of it is less than a pound. And this is it. This is my bowl. I know it looks kind of big on camera. It's really not that much, but here it is. This is the love crunch. Like I said, it's uh, about 1500 calories. Insane, but I do enjoy it. I throw some milk in here and I eat it just like cereal. So, mm. I haven't had granola in a long time. Guilty pleasure. This is the dark chocolate and peanut butter. Wow. With the milk, it's about 1,700 calories. <laughs> now, for someone that's trying to put on weight, granola would be perfect. If you're having Greek yogurt with protein in it, maybe some frozen fruit, some granola to bump up those calories. However, if you're cutting, and I mean, unless you're like in if you're like an endurance runner, marathon runner, that's why granola I think is really good for you. It's a lot of carbohydrates, 
fuels your muscle, muscle glycogen when you're running. The next day. My friends, we are back in with a Cineholic review and just to enjoy some Cineholic. Uh, so, I got the banana split at that. Oh, the banana's going. I also got the candy apple. I've been wanting to try this one for a little while too. First bite of banana split. Oh man. I wish there was a way I could pick this bad boy up. Oh, man. Once I'm in, I'm already in. Let's just pick it up. Gotta wipe my face. It's delicious. Like I said, it's messy, but now we got bananas, the frosting. The icing. Mmm. I love the sprinkles too. Mmm, it's so solid. Ooh. Up next, we got the candy apple. We gotta pick this one up too. Just dive right in. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> the pecans, the icing. Tastes just like fall too. Now I got a bunch of the icing and the apples to finish. A little bit of pecans in here too. Mm. Speechless. So good, Cineholic. Next adventure, my favorite. Alright guys, so they just opened up a Charlie Steakhouse right over by my house and uh, I'm pretty excited to go try it. It's uh, it's new, so uh, is it worth it? Go get in it? Let's go see. Alright guys, so I just got Charlie Steakhouse. Time to tell you guys, is it worth it? So what I went with was the cheese steak, mozzarella sticks, and the regular fries. It kind of looks like it's okay. It doesn't look like it's going to be the greatest thing that's going to wow me, but Let's dive into it. Charlie's Philly Cheese Steaks. I think I put a side of ranch, but I didn't get it. So I'm gonna put the ranch on these large. I got two large Philly Cheese Steaks. Got a Philly Cheese Steak with ranch. Pickles on it too. I don't think I've ever had pickles on Philly Cheese Steak. So. It's not the best Philly Cheese Steak I've ever had. trying to compare it to something. You've probably seen this place at like your local mall. They're usually in the mall, but... It's not bad, but like I said, it's not the best ever I've had. Like if I were up north and there was like a Penn Station next to this place, I would choose Penn Station every time over that place. I love Penn Station. There's something about tomatoes though, on a Philly cheesesteak that is. I had to change too because I had cinnamon roll stain on my shirt. Now if I just compared the first one, that first uh, Philly cheesesteak was like maybe like a, like a 5.8 for me.
I don't believe I've ever had lettuce on Philly cheesesteak either. I do respect the really cool inside labeling too. These fries, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have the highest hopes. I, I'm a very positive person, but these fries, um, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Not bad. That was the best I thought they were gonna do. So last but not least, I ordered mozzarella sticks. You get four in here. Let's see if it does the cheese pull test. Okay. So in middle school, they used to sell mozzarella sticks for lunch. You could get them if you wanted to pay like a premium. I remember every once in a while I'd be able to get my hands on a few extra, you know, maybe like a dollar or two, and could get those mozzarella sticks. These mozzarella sticks taste very similar to those mozzarella sticks. It's like they went to my middle school and got the recipe from my lunch ladies. Hmm. These mozzarella sticks, I don't even need marinara ranch. So that's how good they are. I'm gonna go 7.8 on the mozzarella sticks. All right, last but not least, my favorite Ben and Jerry's, half baked. <laughs> I love this stuff. Probably a little melted, but that's kind of how I like it. Slurp. I love half baked. Last part of this G day. Slurp. 1,070 calories. You think there's a better Ben and Jerry's? Post in the comments so I can tell you it's not. I'm just kidding. But do post your favorites. So much chocolatey goodness. Oh! That was very nice. Thank you for say, taking some time out of your day to hopefully get some entertainment out of this video. Simply why I do this, entertainment value. And uh, yeah guys, we got to try a lot of new things today. Try more TikTok hacks as I get more into TikTok. But you guys are the best, appreciate you. Until next time guys, I am out. Peace out.